From a young age at school, we are taught that failure is not good. And when I was at school, I remember being taught that your GCSEs, which are basically the results that you get or the exam-based results that you get at the end of the year or at the end of your school life, actually really matter depending on where you're going in life. They told me that your GCSEs, if you don't get them a good qualification out of those GCSEs, then you're not going to be able to go to uni. And if you don't go to uni, then you're going to fail at life. I think your exams are important like your GCSEs and you should try and keep going with them. But I don't think it's something to get too anxious about or too scared of the failing of them. So when I was at school and taking these GCSEs, I remember going to assemblies where they would tell us that your GCSEs uh, mean a lot. And if you don't get good qualifications then you won't really make any anything off in your life. So a lot of people took this on and said, yes, I'm going to do well in my GCSEs and I'm going to revise and make sure I get the grade. Then there's a the silly people like me who go, oh, well, it's sort of like I'm going to fail and I'm scared of failing. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to bother revising and we're going to forget all about them. So I have the control and I know that if I don't try, I'm not going to fail and I'm not going to be embarrassed and I'm not going to seem silly. So what did I do? Didn't revise and I didn't really get any qualifications when I was at school. And that was because I had a fear of failing something that I was trying to do. Now, the same goes with a lot of us when we're in this business scene or when we're in the design scene. In this video, I'm going to show you and tell you how to fail upwards in your life and that it's okay to fail sometimes. A lot of you guys ask me questions to do with design and you email me and you comment, tweet, Instagram, all that sort of stuff. And a lot of it is asking me how I get to where I am now. The only way I can really say it is by saying I've got good parents, I've got good focus, and I know where I'm going, and I also took risks. When I started off doing this job in freelance designing, I was scared to fail, but I remember something that has resounded in me since attending the church that I go to now in my hometown, which is what if it goes to plan? What if it actually works out? And this is something that helped me combat the fear of failing in my business setting. The way that I see it, that there is two obstacles when it comes to failure. There is one, the fear of failure, and there's two, actually failing on what to do next. So you've probably been in the position of where you are scared to fail, so you don't do something because you are scared to fail, even though you might have actually been quite good at it. We've all done that, and that's just a natural response to wanting to be comfortable and not humiliated or distressed. But when it comes to your business and you want to grow it and stuff, then you'll need to take steps of faith where you're going to need to overcome this fear of failing. So if we're going to combat this fear of failing, we need to sort of turn the idea of this fear around in our heads. As I said before, I learned from a young age that we can actually say to ourselves, what if this goes to plan instead of saying, oh, what if it goes wrong? When you do this, your perspective on what you're doing is a lot more hopeful and a lot more driven. This will help you actually get to where you want to go. So if you're scared of failing something, just give it your best shot because what if it actually turns out to be good? What if you actually make something of yourself doing this? Or what if it actually works out? The second obstacle is this, what to do after you've actually failed. I've also been the person of when I have failed at something once, I don't want to do it again. And again, I'm going to give the analogy of an exam. Over here in the UK and probably everywhere else in the world, you have to do a driving theory exam before you do your practical exam. And the theory exam, a lot of people pass first time. So when I'm going into this exam, I'm feeling quite you know, nervous and I failed it. And I was annoyed and I did it again and I did it again and I was wasting all my money doing this exam. And this was years ago when I was back when I was 17. So I just stopped doing it because I was like, I'm just failing it all the time. And because I kept on failing, I just gave up on it and I stopped doing it because it was embarrassing. So understandably, most people would like, feel like giving up, but a lot of them wouldn't. And you see, for me, that's something that I've had to work on, which is the fear of failure, but actually failing on what to do next. Well, this is what you can do next. You can fail upwards. And by that, I mean, we can learn from what we have 
failed in. You see, when we look at failure and we look that we haven't done something that we're supposed to have done, we haven't achieved or attained the goal that we're supposed to attain, we can look back and debrief on what we can do differently the next time. You know, there's nothing stopping you doing it again and again and again until it works out. You know, every time that you do it and you fail, you learn something new. So nowadays, when I'm looking at failure, I always say to myself, or always try and say to myself, look, even if I do fail, which I hope I don't, but even if I do, I'm going to learn something out of this. And I'm actually going to have a new experience out of this as well. And I'll be that slightly more knowledgeable the next time. I read this book once when I was younger, and I can't remember the actual name of the book. It was a Christian book. This dude was talking about when you are failing, it is okay to fail as long as you're not staying still. And he gave this analogy of like, you can just go up and go straight up in a line. But if you're going around in circles, that's not good if you're just staying where you are. But if you're going around in the circles, but going up, then you're failing upwards then you're actually getting to where you want to be. Maybe a bit slower than normal, but you're actually getting to where you want to be. You see, for me in my business, this is exactly what I did. All these videos on my channel, or most of these videos on this channel is based on things that I failed in, and I've looked back on and I've said, what can I learn out of this? And I basically teach it to you guys and I try it again. And I'm basically going around in circles, like, and it feels like I'm going around in circles sometimes. But I always know that if I'm going around in circles, I'll still be going up every now and then. Maybe not a direct vertical line, but I'm still going up. And you know, I believe that's the same for you guys, whether you're a designer or just a general creative person trying to pave their own way for a business. So the two main points, what if you don't fail? What if you actually do well? And the second point is, even if you do fail, then you've got something to show for it. You can learn and you can do it better the next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know your thoughts about failing down in the comments below. It'd be really handy to know if you guys have the same thoughts and feelings regarding failure uh, just let me know your comments down below that would be cool to see also check out my website and click the links in the description below for some awesome design stuff that i give away or not give away but you can check out thank you so much for watching and i'll see you friday morning for the first ever video on the my thoughts playlist thanks for watching see you later